To help us with our What Is It Today, we have a special guest. Say hello to Mr. Nick Offerman. Whoa, Ron Swanson. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hi, Nick. Welcome. Hey, Nick. Thank you for having me. <laughs> so people know you from uh, screen and stage, but they may not know that you're also a woodworker. That's true. Um, that's because my woodworking is very medium. I'm a, I'm a student. <laughs> but today I've brought you uh, an implement from my shop. It's a finely shaped piece of maple with some doodads and brass and a little steel on the bottom. And uh, I'm going to leave it up to you gentlemen to answer the question, mm, what is it? <laughs> the doodads are definitely the giveaway, but yeah. I know what this is because I actually wear one of these every year, once a year, when I go to the event. Oh, the Oscars? No, not the Oscars. The Emmys. Not the Emmys. Grammys? No, not the Grammys. The Country Music Awards. <laughs> you know, you, well, Clearly. Yes, absolutely. That's well. I sometimes I do wear it twice a year. You're right. <laughs> but the big event is actually when I put it on, and I go to the Woodies. <laughs> the Woodies. The Woodies. That's actually quite fetching. I, <laughs> yeah. I, I might put that out in mahogany and walnut. That's yeah. a great idea. For the formal. That's a great look. idea. Get it finished. Not even close. This is a portable detonator. Oh, oh. I need your help, Great Tom. to bring on a plane. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna take and wire this up for me. What Thank this you. is for is for the scourge of the landscaping industry. Weeds. The gopher. Oh, the, the gopher. gopher. They're so hard to catch. Well, I got a way to take care of them. So you take this. You take and drop it down the barrel. Get down there. Dynamite, all ready to go. Gopher in the hole. Ready? Go for Three, it. Three, two. <laughs> One, go for out of the hole. Give me that. Ah, another misfire. Oh, Roger, you have no idea how big of a misfire that was. <clears throat> this brings back some memories of my youth. Wow, that's a long. That's really? that's a long time ago. That? You know, nowadays kids have those sort of wireless games. What do they call them? We. Right. Yeah. We, yeah. Us or we used to have sports. Yeah, we used to have sports. Yeah, 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 exactly. Well, what we had was this. This used to wire to the old Philco black and white. Sometimes my father didn't even connect it. We would just sort of sit in front of it. <laughs> that explains a lot. It does. Yeah. <laughs> Must have been a fantastic childhood. Well, you know, I'm still having therapy issues. Right? You gentlemen know how seriously <laughs> I take my mustache. Huh? Yeah. You're right. Yeah. You probably don't. I really don't. feel left out. I mean... You are not a mustachio man like the rest of us. You may not understand this, Richard, but had you had one, you would use this to groom your mustache and to keep it well kept, yeah. cultivated, yeah. Uh, and even curler, because I'm a little curly yeah. too, bushy and curly, it's a for my mustache. Out right there, though. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> That's nine months of work. I, you're you're not going to pull mine. No, no, that doesn't come off. You're, you're welcome to take a no, swing no. at it. <laughs> this actually is called a spoke shave. Uh, initially named because it was used to shape the wooden spokes in wagon wheels. The blade works just like a hand plane, but because it's free form, you can make things like a canoe paddle. Which you do a I, lot of spokes these days? I do a lot of wooden spokes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, did you see the, the show Deadwood? Yeah, that's right. I, had a, I had a lot of work on that show. That's how I got it. That was my big break. I knew it had something to do with shaving. That was spoke shave number three. Much like a block plane or the edge of a chisel, you can adjust this blade so that it takes a fine shaving, except this is to create curved surfaces. And you, you can see you're literally sculpting away the wood. Look at that. Which is beautiful. really satisfying. Yeah, that does a beautiful job. It's, and it's really something. I mean, when you make something that ends up having a use, like a canoe paddle or an axe handle, as you begin shaping it, there's something magical that happens. It's like you're forging a broadsword and then going into battle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when, when I take this out on a river, it feels extra good because I'm like, I made this out of a plank. Yeah. Yeah. I am smarter than a plank. <laughs>